And in Chicago leads 76-64, 3.44 to go in the game. LeBron James, top circle, pick set by Udonis Haslam. James behind his back, but he lost the ball. And it's on the ground as Kurt Thomas will try to get his hand in there for Chicago. And we will have a stoppage in play here with seven seconds to go. Here on a shot clock is, we'll see what the result of that one is as we'll go to the replay. It was a great play by uh, number 11 there to not only get, get loose the ball, but to really throw LeBron James off his game. He's never really had to focus on such a play like that, and he'll see time at the stripe right here. And the result of that play was a foul, and James able to knock it in at the line. 3.06 to go now here. Chicago up 77-65, to but James able to bank that one in. Later on in the quarter, 2.40 to go. Here's Wade using a glass on the right side, and good move there by Dwayne Wade. Excellent move by Dwayne Wade, piercing the defense down the right side and just having his way with the bucket there. And the, using the backboard, a old-fashioned old move, but it still counts for two. Now make it 77-69. Now 2.12 to go here. Here is James. will tee up a three. Kaboom. LeBron James. Able to knock it in, that would make it 77 to 72. And Tom Thibodeau will call timeout for the Bulls. Don't uh, give LeBron James the ball at, beyond the arc and without any de defensive interference because he will make that bucket all day. You see that there? The defender took a quick second uh, to decide whether he wanted to, to interfere with a pass or not. And, uh, absolutely no effect as LeBron James sinks an easy three-pointer. Right over the outstretched arms of Derrick Rose, the former MVP for the Chicago Bulls, and we'll get a look at the bar there in Miami, and they wow. love it. 137 to go now. Chicago, 79-72. James throws to Wade. Wade, a step back three. Count it. Wow, what a three, and exa it's exactly the opposite, and it's going to be actually a four-point play because Dwayne Wade had to deal with a lot of defensive pressure. And, and Dwayne Wade will knock that one off the rim. Back comes James, 107 to go, 79-76. James now left side, a three over the wall. Dang, got it. Wow, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade are on fire from beyond the arc. And with that, the game is tied. The lead has evaporated for the Chicago Bulls. And now 61 seconds to go. Now we're tied at 79 as Dwayne Wade and LeBron James have been two men on a mission. So we get a look at the three-pointers here. James knocking that one in from the left elbow. 36 seconds to go now. Here is LeBron James tied at 79. Seven on the shot clock. Sizing up Corey Brewer. LeBron James drives to his left. Step back. Good. And that, that bucket is important because it does get Miami the lead. But if Chicago wants to win it, they have to make a three-point basket. That's what makes that bucket really, really important. 81-79, to 79, a, a regular two-point bucket would just tie it and send it into overtime. And I don't think that Chicago wants to give LeBron James and Dwayne Wade a chance to, with the ball in overtime, where it's really, really hard to rally from, from a deficit. And the Miami Bench very excited. Mike Bibby and Eddie House really excited. Now here is Derek Rose. That one blocked, and that'll do it. Miami comes away with the win, 83-80. to Miami will take the series, and they will head to the finals. Wow, absolutely phenomenal. What a, what a game and what a block by Miami to end it here. 83-80 to is the final score.